Hi, this video is going to discuss linear regression. And we'll begin our discussion with an examination of residuals. Once we have a correlation between two variables, we can determine a best fitting line. That's the equation uh, that generates the best prediction of y based on values of x. And then we have residuals, which is the difference between the actual data points and the prediction line. And so the regression line, which is also called the line of best fit, is the line for which the sum of squares of residuals is minimized. And the equation for that is here, y hat equals mx plus b, and the y hat value is the predicted y value for a given x value. The slope, represented by m, and the y-intercept, represented by b, are given through these equations. Uh, the slope is found by taking the sample size, multiplying it by the sum of x, y product, and then subtracting from that the sum of x multiplied by the sum of y. And then in the denominator, we've got the sum of x squared times the sample minus the sum of x squared. And then for b, our, our y-intercept, we have y bar minus m the slope times x bar, which equals the sum of y over sample size minus the m slope times the sum of x over n. So y bar is the mean of the y values, and x bar is the mean of the x values. So the regression line always passes through x bar and y bar. So here's an example of some data, and we're going to find the equation of the regression line based on it. We have our x, our y, our xy product, our x square, and our y square here. And down in this row, we've got the sum of those values. With that, we can plug numbers into our equation, and we would come to 1.2. So 1.2 is our slope, m, and now we can find our intercept value, b, by using uh, those numbers and plugging them in. And with that, we would come to negative 3.8, as it shows here on this graph. So our equation of the regression line in this case will be y hat equals 1.2x minus 3.8. So if we return to our example of our students, our 12 students who watched variable amounts of television and then scored uh, with various results here in our y column, we're looking at the relationship between the hours of television watching and our test scores for those students. And so we have to find our x, our y, our xy, our x square, and our y square. Take the sum of those. And uh, from that, we'll be able to create our equation, plug in values to our equation. And from that, we'll get our sum of, uh, I mean, our, uh, our slope, which in this case will be uh, minus 4.067. And then we can find our y intercept, which in this case is 93.97. And so our our line equation will be y hat equals negative 4.07x plus 93.97. And over here we see our best fitting line drawn through the data points. The data points, remember, the difference between them and the line is the residuals. And we can see from this graph that as hours watching TV increases, test scores diminish. And once we have our equation, we can also examine the predicted y value based on an x value. So for instance, if some student watches nine hours of TV, we can substitute that in for the x, and that will give us our y hat value, 57.34. So a student who watches nine hours of TV is predicted to score a 57 on Monday's test.